Have you ever wondered what it would be like to fly through a monsoon storm? A special aircraft designed right here in Arizona does just that. It tests the latest weather radar and equipment that will go on aircraft you and I fly in. Ready for departure, Crystal? Ready. Tower 757 Hotel Whiskey ready for takeoff. So this is the control panel. We have a, an antenna up at the front of the airplane that's out there searching the sky. Our system uh, is unique in that we scan the sky out in front of the airplane about over 300 miles and from wingtip to wingtip from the ground all the way up to about 60,000 feet. And so we build this three-dimensional picture of what the weather looks like. So you'll see as we approach a storm, as it's detecting that storm and how it kind of gets refined as you get a little closer, we can see that out to about 80 miles in our system. We can start then to analyze that data for other hazards like turbulence, or we can analyze that data maybe for ice crystal icing, other, uh, you know, other hazards to aircraft. What types of storms do you fly this aircraft into? All kinds of storms, really, because we want our radar to uh, to work in any kind of weather. What is some of the most dangerous weather to be flying in? And those summer monsoons are certainly some of the more dangerous weather. It's going to be more dangerous, too, when you're down close, you're on, you know, near the ground, you're trying to do the approach or take off. So that's why we have that predictive wind shear. Can you even take this in a hurricane? Well, we have gone over hurricanes. We're doing things that are a little more unusual than, I mean, normally pilots would be avoiding this stuff. That's why we're developing the technology. But yeah, we end up having to go toward or maybe sometimes even into the storm a little bit to get that accurate data. We've taken it even to the, uh, around the equator where there's the typical or different kinds of storms. Does it have lightning detection as well? Yeah, we have a prediction for lightning and a prediction for hail. And those are icons that would show up on, on the screen. When you're flying the aircraft and you're flying into one of these storms, what does it look like from your perspective? Do you see, you know, the lightning all around you? Certainly at night. It makes the storms look much, much bigger than they are. It's quite interesting. It's, it's, a, it's actually pretty amazing to watch the energy of a storm cloud just kind of billowing, you know, it's billowing and building. So the next time you have your eye to the sky for a storm, keep an eye out for Honeywell 757 Hotel Whiskey.